Hey, what's up everyone? In the last uh, video, you saw us put up this Backyard Discovery uh, steel pergola. And today, I'm gonna show you how we are going to attach that, per that pergola permanently to the concrete footings. Let's get started. All right, so we are out here today finishing the pergola project by permanently and securely fastening the bottom of each of our uh, four posts here to the concrete footings that we have uh, in the ground. And that's to prevent the pergola from ending up over there or in there. That would be a bad thing. So it's important that even though the structure is fairly heavy, it's probably six, 700 pounds, um, it is very important that we secure it properly. So today I'm gonna to show you how I'm gonna go about um, securing a post to one of these footings. I've already done the other three. So we'll show you here how I'm gonna do this last one. So for the job, uh, we're gonna need a few tools. So first of all, you're gonna need um, an anchor and we're going to use this anchor that's uh, made specially to go into con to uh, anchor to concrete and so this is an a wedge anchor uh, by redhead i'm using three eighths inch by three inch long anchors and these anchors are extremely strong um, three eighths inch with only an inch and a half of embedment into your footing um, in 2000 PSI concrete has over a 1600 pound uh, pull out so should be more than enough uh, to keep uh, this pergola uh, where it needs to be I have a feeling that uh, the pergola we would blow apart before uh, these bolts uh, get pulled out of the concrete so so that's the first step is getting a good quality anchor uh, to secure them to the footings then you need to drill your holes to be able to put your anchors in and so you need a hammer drill and a 3 8 inch in this case i'm using 3 8 inch uh, anchors so you need a 3 8 inch uh, bit and to easily gauge the depth what you want to do is take your bolt your anchor and you want to hold it up to your bit and then where the bottom of your anchor touches your bit just put a strip of blue tape like this and that will precisely tell you when your plate hits that blue line this tape you're done you went far enough and with this particular anchor you want to go down the depth of the anchor plus a quarter inch and so you want to have a, a quarter inch over drill uh, for this type of anchor and so we're going to drill down just that quarter inch more uh, for those for those anchors we're going to go ahead and get the camera set up and uh, go over the prep work and get this done all right so uh, here we are at our first uh, plate we're going to go ahead and try and get an anchor into this one to demonstrate the process. So the first thing we're going to do is try and drill out the hole. So we're going to take the drill and we are going to try um, and drill it and see, see how it goes. Okay, so as you can see, I uh, drilled through it pretty easily. Lots of dust. I'm gonna go ahead and try and clean out the hole. I'm gonna use this, uh, this bike pump uh, and see if we can get the hole cleaned out a little bit. Uh, that's no 
work well. Alright. So, now with the hole cleaned out, we should be able to go ahead and pound this into the hole. like that and you don't have to worry about scuffing the first inch or so up too much because the trim plate's going to come down and cover this up so um, it doesn't quite matter as much um, if you scratch it down here okay so the first one's in went very well so we're going to go ahead and drill these next few out and get the rest in So now we've drilled the holes, all four anchor bolts in, are in. The last step remaining is just to, to tighten these bolts up. And according to the package, um, it specifies 25 foot pound of torque. So I'll show you how we're going to do that. All right. So to set the torque of those anchors, we're going to use this, and this is called a torque wrench. And a torque wrench is a lot like any sort of uh, ratch, uh, wrench and socket uh, that you may have, except the difference is this is a Craftsman and it has numbers on it and that is the specification of the torque setting that it's currently set at. And this particular torque wrench goes from 20 uh, foot-pound to 100. And how you set this is that there's uh, red numbers around this black collar and then there's numbers etched into the shaft and we want to get to 25 well currently if we rotate this shaft to where zero lines up with this line we can see we are at the 20 mark and so to get to 25 we want to rotate the shaft so 20 lines up with now 20 with the five and now you can see it's halfway between the 20 and the 30 which gives us the 25 we're looking for and so now when I use this it will only allow me to put 25 foot pound of torque on that bolt so let's give it a try all right so we're down here at our first bolts I think I have the ratchet the right way I'm gonna go ahead and put it on and see what happens Okay, so when you've when you've reached 25 foot-pound of torque, when you've reached the torque setting, what you're going to hear is when you go forward, you're going to hear a little click. And I don't know if you can hear that. Yeah, right there. That click is telling you that uh, the force required to turn that nut on that bolt is greater than or equal uh, to your torque setting on your torque wrench and so at that point you have the right torque and you're done so all we got to do is just double check all four of these put the trim cover back on and move on to the next okay so there you have it that's all it takes 
uh, to permanently and securely attach your backyard discovery steel pergola to a concrete footing. Um, and notice all you know about a quarter inch or so of thread so it took quite a bit um, of turning to to get the appropriate torque and so if you have a torque wrench um, you know use it because it'll get get it perfect every time um, if you don't you can see on mine how much thread I had to go through uh, about a quarter inch or so and that'll probably get you close if you don't have a torque wrench but um, it's very easy, very secure. Um, now, don't have to worry about a windstorm coming through here and blowing my uh, brand new pergola into the yard. So, all right, uh, if you have any questions, go ahead and ask down in the comments. I'll try to answer as much as I can. Uh, thank you for watching. See you next time.